Hi, I wanted to share some things that have been very helpful for me as um, kind of a mindset shift that has had a big impact on my enjoyment of talking to people at shows. And these are things that I think anybody can um, have this kind of mindset shift. And by having these mindset shifts, it can make a big impact on how much you enjoy those conversations with people when you're doing an art show and talking about your art. I'm not really speaking about this from a place of uh, success uh, or high levels of success. I definitely have ambitions to um, achieve much more, uh, much greater success in my art business, but I'm speaking from a place of a big change from where I was to where I am today. So just to give you a bit of uh, background information, uh, my first art show that I did was, uh, let's see, it was back in, I think 2014, and it was um, my first uh, major art show, I suppose, was with the Mountain Brook Art Association, their spring show in 2014. I'm pretty sure it was 2014. Um, I wasn't very confident in how my artwork presented first of all but I did love the paintings I had made and at the time I did enjoy speaking to people about the concepts behind my art uh, but at shows what I found is I was just dreading every conversation with people I felt uh, maybe under the spotlight uh, kind of intimidated I felt this need to, I don't know how to explain it, I felt like I wanted to make sales and every time somebody had a conversation and walked away and didn't buy something, I felt a little bit discouraged. But I also felt almost sleazy or guilty for wanting people to buy my artwork and felt this kind of this weird thing where I also felt that I wanted to be able to interact normally but I felt that anything I said was going to come across as a sales pitch. I um, had a lot of big thoughts about my art that I didn't know how to summarize um, but when I did try to talk to people about those things it just came across or I felt like it was going to come across as if this is just a sales pitch and people are going to take it the wrong way. Instead of having this perspective of what can I get from this person or what can I take, which made me feel icky, you know, <laughs> it made me feel kind of like, yuck, I don't want to be that person who's just trying to take from someone. Um, I started thinking about what can I give to this person? What can I, what kind of insight might be fun for them? And so when I was, had that mentality that changed, I really started to enjoy talking to people about my art and finding different things that uh, was common ground or figuring out how to express what things meant to me and it was also and it was something that could actually benefit someone else by hearing those things which was surprising to me how much that turned out to be true so when I had this mindset shift about instead of trying to get something from other people that made me feel icky, um, I'm trying to give something to them of value, like bless them with some insight or some thought, I started to realize how, um, how much of a blessing it could be just having conversations that are uplifting and encouraging to others. And I also realized it was encouraging to me as well. For example, I would talk to somebody about what, you know, ask them questions about what they liked, what resonated with them about my artwork, and people would, I found people saying things and using words to describe my art that was exactly the mindset or mentality or concept that I had had in my mind when I was painting it. And so that was really exciting to me to see that that was what I conveyed and that was something that they enjoyed seeing. And I think it was also fun for them to realize that they had, they had, you know, kind of understood the message of my art, so to speak, from looking at it. And so it was something that really changed for me. And I ended up 
having more of this feeling of joy when I had conversations with people. It also was something that I used their feedback to fuel which directions I went in from there because I could see which conversa- which pieces were starting the best conversations with people, which conversations were the most encouraging to me and to other people, you know? And that started directing where my art went and where I wanted to spend the most of my time when I got a chance to paint. And so it became this really beautiful thing that I actually started to look forward to those conversations with people. Also, as an artist, it means a lot to me to be able to talk about my art and the meaning behind it. And being in an environment, particularly for the Mountain Brook Art Association shows, those uh, the people who attend those shows tend to be people who really want to hear about what it is that we're thinking about as artists. Um, they really enjoy conversing with artists and they want to support the arts and local artists. So that has been something that, um, it's just been a blessing to have conversations with people who really are genuinely interested in hearing about the creative process and what, what goes on behind the art. And it's really a blessing to be able to share those things with people and I love getting to um, just talk about those things. So it's been something that I used to dread and hate and not look forward to. And now it's something that I really do look forward to really the most about the art show. Um, it also turns out to be that most of the time when you've had these encouraging conversations with somebody, if somebody really likes your art and they're going to buy it, um, I've found that sometimes people are going to buy your art whether they have a conversation with you or not because they like it. But if you've had that conversation with them, then they're taking away from it not just a beautiful piece of artwork, but also some memory of a really um, uplifting conversation or something that was a really neat connection. And so by connecting with people, I can bless people who don't buy my art, but I also can bless people who do buy my art more. Uh, yeah. Then the other thing that I've found is that by having these kinds of conversations, because I'm enjoying talking about my art to people, I've, uh, I think that I have had better sales than I otherwise would have because people do want to hear about the artwork and I'm more likely to have good sales if I'm willing to talk about it and I'm comfortable talking about it as supposing as opposed to being like oh this makes me uncomfortable I feel icky if I tell you insights because I feel like you're going to take it as me trying to do a sales pitch even though I'm actually burying my soul <laughs> and so yeah that has been something that has made a big difference for me So the other thing that I realized that really made a big difference for me with talking to people at art shows was that I had this uh, sort of this feeling or this fear of coming across as uh, like I was doing a sales pitch when I really was being sincere and sharing about my artwork and kind of burying my soul. And I really didn't like the thought that that would, that people would think oh, she's just trying to sell her artwork, and so she's giving us this whole spiel. And the way that I kind of overcame that was just to realize that the important thing really is what God thinks of me, first of all, and if he knows my heart and he knows my motivation behind things, and if I know my heart and I know my motivation and I know that my motivation is pure and sincere and that I'm wanting to share something really to be an encouragement and, an, and a blessing and not just because I want to try to convince them to buy something that they don't need or don't want, um, then if I know that that really is my heart behind things, then I don't have to worry about what other people think about my motives because that's between them and God. If they are going to judge me incorrectly 
well, there's nothing I can do about that. I can't, I can try to explain it to them all day and defend myself and say, I really am being sincere, blah, blah, blah. But they, if they're determined to assume the worst of me, then that's what they're going to do. And at the end of the day, I can't be worried about what every person may or may not think of me and rather just know that people who um, are going to be the most blessed by me are the people who are going to give me the benefit of the doubt and also the people who are going to recognize the sincerity and that I am being genuine and that I'm not just trying to uh, convince them to buy something that they really don't need. And so if that is if that is where I'm if that's where I'm at inside, then I don't have to stress or worry or fear about the person who would misconstrue my intentions and my motives. Uh, that That is, of course, I do like to make sales, and that is the best feedback that I can get for my art because I know that people like it enough to want to purchase it and have it in their home. I also do like to get sales because if if somebody really does resonate with my topic that I'm I've shared with them then I know that they can continue to remember whatever that topic is and it can continue to bless them and uplift them and knowing that is is awesome like that's what I want you know that's what I want my work to be to be a blessing to them uh, however I really don't want somebody to buy a painting that they can't afford they don't have space for they really don't like it that much they don't need it you know, none of that. Like, I don't want somebody to have something on their wall that I that I painted that they actually aren't happy with. Of course I don't want that. So that mindset shift um, has been really freeing to me and allowing me to really express myself and be genuine and realize if other people don't recognize that I'm being genuine or they take it the wrong way, you know, that's that's the thing with them. They have to figure out what's going on with them and I can't be um I can't control that I can't worry about it and just focus on the people who are going to uh, assume the best and understand my true intentions lastly I want to share some uh, art show tips that I have also implemented that I think have made a really big difference in my ability to be available and have really good conversations and enjoy them at show at shows at art shows uh the first part I was kind of talking about the mindset and this is sort of some practical tips that I implemented that I I think my mother-in-law had read online a few of these things and then other things have been just um, advice and tips that I've picked up along the way either from other artists or podcasts or things like that so I will say that in my first art show I was nervous and so I wanted moral support and so I wanted as many people that I knew in my booth as possible with me. I wanted my husband in there, I wanted either my parents or my in-laws in there, and I even kind of hoped that like, by them being there, that they would almost kind of be able to help with conversations about my artwork and make it not so awkward and make me not feel so awkward and make me feel more confident, and that they would also be able to talk to people about my artwork and then they would help make the sales almost, so to speak, you know? And what I didn't realize is that having these personal connections in there and, you know, can actually make a person who's visiting feel more intimidated or feel like they're interrupting something if you're in a conversation. Like if I'm in a conversation about something with my my husband or my mother-in-law or my mom or whoever's there and I'm chatting with them and then somebody walks in and then of course we stop our conversation and turn to them and I'm saying hello how are you blah 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 then the tendency is for them to be like oh oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation I'm just looking I'm I'm just looking don't mind me don't interrupt your conversation for my sake but what I've noticed is if I'm in there by myself just standing there I'm available I'm they're, they're, and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? And I just start chatting with them, maybe asking them about the show, their day, how's their day been, how's their weekend, have they liked, have they enjoyed the show, whatever. You know, they kind of get it. I think it's easier for them to get that, like, she's in here by herself. She's probably going to be bored if I don't talk to her, <laughs> you know? And so there's this difference that it makes by me being there by myself. 
I make myself more available for conversation and people don't feel that sense of like, oh, I'm interrupting if I take her time or if I am having a conversation and I'm not really planning to buy anything right now. I'm just kind of browsing and don't really know what I want, if I want anything or whatever, but just seeing what's around, just enjoying looking at the art and they have that and that's fine with me. Most people who walk into my booth are like that. I still want to have a conversation with them, right? And so if I still want to have a conversation with them, I need for them to know that I'm interested in conversation. So if I'm in there by myself and I'm standing there just kind of doing nothing, then of course they're going to talk to me because they realize that I've got nothing else to do. I'm going to just chat with you. Like, you know, and so they don't feel um, that same sense of like, oh, I'm interrupting her conversation with her husband and I don't, you know, I don't want her to get the idea. I've got a leaf on my hair, I think. Yeah, I've got a leaf on my hair. All right, anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, so that would be my one tip that I think is very important. Try to make yourself available. Don't look too busy. I know some people have said that they try to look a little bit busy so that they um, so that they don't make people feel intimidated or so that they don't make people feel um, put on the spot, kind of in that sense of like too much attention from the shop attendant kind of vibe. But I don't think it's the same thing with art shows because people get it that like I'm out here presenting my artwork, which is part of me and I am interested in talking to people about my artwork, not just in selling my artwork. I'm not here trying to earn commission. Like this is a part of who I am that I'm sharing with the world. And they get it that like that is a joyful thing that we as artists want to be able to talk to people. And I think a lot of people who understand art do want to talk to the artists about their work and they do enjoy that whether or not they're planning to buy it. So if you're there and you're available to chat, they like that. That's wonderful. And that makes it a, a fun event for them. <laughs> the one exception to not looking busy, not doing other things when you're um, doing the art show is that sometimes I do like to sit and draw because that is the kind of thing that I think people find interesting and you're at an art show. So people love to see the art in, in process. And so people, I think that that is the kind of thing, if I'm sitting there by myself drawing and then somebody comes into the booth, uh, booth and I'm sort of like, hey, how are you doing? And then they'll be like, oh, what are you drawing? You know. So I think that is an exception because it's something that draws people in, <laughs> no pun intended. And um, so I think that that would be a good way to maybe be busy or like, because sometimes it does, like if it's at a slower time of day with an art show, it does drive you crazy just to stand there and do like literally nothing until somebody walks into your booth. And so, yeah, drawing can be a nice thing to do. I know in the later afternoon time, I start to feel tired. And so um, drawing kind of helps me stay alert and awake and um, I'm still ready to like engage and people get that. People, you know, uh, don't feel like they're interrupting if they come and watch you draw and chat with you about what you're drawing at that moment. So, um, yeah, so that would be my one other exception. The final tip that I'm going to uh, express is just the idea of not ever uh, accepting a compliment for, about your art just by saying thank you. Say thank you and like kind of almost like the idea of improv, you know? Um, thank you, and what, why do you think that? Or why do you feel that way? Or what do you like about it? So like um, people might come into my booth and they'll say, you have beautiful artwork. And I'll say, oh, thank you. What, what is it that you think is particularly beautiful about it? Or are there any pieces that you think are more beautiful than the others? Or do you think, you know, what is it that you like the most? And Sometimes I'll get responses like, I like the overall colors, the way the colors work together. It's really, I, those appeal to me. Or whatever, you know, sometimes people really like the themes and they say, I think it's a beautiful um, theme that you have going on or whatever, you know. And so, um, anyway, so yeah, but it's good to like, you start to get that feedback and it, um, it opens the door for more conversations 
And like I said earlier in this video, uh, more conversations allows for more feedback from and which I need as an artist. I need that feedback. Um, it helps me to really gauge the general um, ideas about my art that are, you know, popping up or whatever. And um, then it also can allow me to get into maybe a deeper conversation with someone who's interested. Um, it kind of keeps that conversation going and somebody who really is interested in hearing the details about why I paint what I paint and what's going on behind the artwork, it gives me that opportunity to share some of those things with people and it may open a door to me being able to share some insight to something that I've had in my life that they maybe need to have in their life or that they would benefit from. So that has been um, really a big difference maker for me is never letting a compliment just fall flat like oh thank you and then moving on or letting them move on but always trying to see if they can give you a little bit more like a little bit more feedback a little bit more insight into what it is that they liked so those are my tips for shows and for talking to people at shows um, I can't say that these are tips that are going to make you have like wonderful great sales because it just depends right um, the person has to want to buy your work and it has to work for them and that's totally fine but it does make a big difference to be able to enjoy talking to people at shows and for me that has been a tremendous blessing because if I'm going to do these shows I want to enjoy doing them I want to enjoy the conversations I have I want to know that um, I'm doing something that is inspiring to other people and that it can be that way so hopefully you um anyone watching this found this encouraging and maybe um gave you a few ideas of how you could shift your mindset so that you can enjoy talking to people at art shows when you're chatting with them all right thank you